In this video I'm going to be working through four examples of sketching straight line equations. So let's look at the first one. y is equal to 3x plus 12. So let's draw some axes. And what we should be able to identify is that because it's crossing through the y-axis y axis of 12, because that's the y-intercept there, um, and it's got a positive gradient, that must mean that the line must look something like this, going through 12 on the y-axis. What we need to identify is where it's crossing the x-axis. Now that's when y is equal to 0. So if we put 0 is equal to 3x plus 12, and we solve that equation, we take 12 from both sides and divide both sides by 3. So that means that that point is minus 4. Okay, and that would be a sketch of the first one, y is equal to 3x plus 12. Let's look at the next one. Number 2, y is equal to 5 minus x. So, 5 is where it's crossing the y-axis, because that's when x is 0, okay, so y is 5. And, because we've got minus x, the gradient of the line is negative, minus 1. So, it's a line that's going to look something like this, going through 5 on the y-axis. And when y is 0, we'll allow us to find that point. So, 0 is equal to 5 minus x, and so x must be equal to 5 adding x to both sides. Okay? You should also be able to pinpoint that because the gradient is minus 1. Okay? So it should go through 5, 5 um, on the axes there. So that's number 2. Let's have a look at number 3. y is equal to x plus 3 over 8. So it's not so immediately obvious where this is crossing the um, y-axis this time. But we can put y is equal to 0, uh, sorry, x is 0. So when x is 0, we get y is equal to 3 over 8. So that must mean that it's going through 3 eighths on the y-axis. Okay? Now, when y is 0, so if we put 0 is equal to x plus 3 over 8, then we can multiply both sides by the 8. So we get 0 is equal to x plus 3. So in other words, the x plus 3, the numerator, must be 0. And then we can take 3 from both sides. So x is minus 3. So minus 3 is about there. So that means that the line is going through... I'll just move it. There we are. Minus 3. The line is going through those two points. Minus 3 on the x-axis and 3 eighths on the y-axis. Okay, so that's how you can figure out number 3. So we're going to use a very similar technique for number 4. Because we can now say that we can figure out where it crosses the x and y axis by putting x and y equal to 0. So if we put x is equal to 0, then what happens is that we can cover up the 4x, and I'm going to be left with 5y is equal to 20. So y is equal to 4. So 0, 4 is the coordinate on the line. Now if we do the same with y, so let's put y is equal to 0, then we can cover up the 5y, 5 lots of 0, 0. And we get left with 4x is equal to 20. So 4x is 20, so x must be equal to 5. So 5, 0 is another coordinate. So there's 5. So the line is going through those two points. Not doing very well at this. There we are. Okay, it's going through those two points, and that's how we can calculate them. Put x is 0 and y is 0. You can do this for any line. Okay, any straight line equation, put x is 0, then y is 0, solve the equation that's left, and that will tell you the two coordinates that it goes through. This technique for figuring out where a curve or a line crosses the x and y axis, or so the x and y axis, is something that we're going to incorporate a lot. Okay, so don't forget how to do this. 